Hey yo, what is up? Two years in the making, the K91 version 2. After four or five iterations, it has finally landed in its uh, final form. And uh, this is what it is, a tier 9. Initially, I thought it was, this was going to be a tier 8, going to be a super medium tank that was going to replace the t44 100 but it is finally here tier 9 uh, we're going to go through all the stats and in its final form it is already in the game files uh, so it is slated to be released uh, pretty soon uh, obviously a tier 9 is going to be some kind of a reward tank in exchange for tokens or missions or something like that we don't know what's going to happen yet but here it is, a super aggressive, beefy looking medium tank. It looks the part, I do like it very much. Just from it, it looks alone, uh, looks really aggressive and tough, menacing. And uh, because of that, I like the tank, to be honest with you. Uh, I worked this tank up with all the hype uh, over the years because I thought this was going to be a really aggressive, T44-100 replacement, uh, but as you can see, if you look at the armor, this thing has no armor to speak of. Uh, the armor is actually just 110 uh, on the hull and 220 um, on the turret, even though it's sloped. Uh, you can see 148 millimeters. You can easily hit the um, cupolas left and right. Really huge cupolas. You can hardly miss it. Um, and then the upper plate, only 100 or 100 plus uh, from the side. 144 will go right through um, the cupola area. Of course, the lower part of the turret, the strongest part is going to be the turret armor, uh, but the upper plate and lower plate, 140s, 150s, very easy to pen uh, frontally, but this tank does have some changes. In its final form, it has been um, updated, and the latest stats is from the 24th of May, uh, which means uh, very recently this thing uh, has been made into its final form. Um, it was supposed to be 1600 hit points. They finally left it to 1500 hit points. Um, the power uh, was supposed to be 900 horsepowers. Uh, they buffed it up to 1000 horsepowers, uh, horsepower, and the power to weight ratio was 18.95. They've buffed it to 21.05. 50 kilometers an hour for forward speed 20 in reverse rotation 52.15 degrees per second this is a very agile very mobile tank uh, the power to weight ratio is exactly like a t44 100 uh, with the 1000 uh, horsepower engine this thing is really fast uh, fast agile high mobility quick rotation um a view range not that great 390 but it's not too bad uh, most tanks uh, you know tier 10s are going to be 400 meters view range again we were talking about that armor absolutely no armor at all to speak of anywhere so uh, don't depend on armor at all uh, the gun really fast firing quick firing quick reloading very accurate gun but only 300 alpha uh, compare that to the Kampfwagen or Kampfpanzer 50 ton the uh, medium tank that was a tier 9 reward the german kind of like heavy medium tank that was 320 alpha this is only 300 alpha damage but you reload 6.9 seconds which means if you run a rammer bia crew food you can get this down to five and a half seconds which is insane um, five and a half seconds reload time is like um, object 907 kind of reload very quick reload um, the dispersion is 0 0.33 which means uh, with bia and food uh, you are already down to 0 0.30 dispersion a uh, very accurate gun uh, and the aim time 1.73 seconds very quick reload with 6 degrees of gun depression and 20 degrees of gun elevation 
very fast firing gun, very high mobility. You are expected to flank, you are expected to run away, you are expected to wiggle your way while you are charging down your enemies and, uh, you know, firing um, as quick as you can. Again, even though it's uh, very fast firing, high mobility, but it has no armor and the stock penetration is only 248. I'm saying quote unquote only 248 is pretty good for a tier 9 but it is not that great compared to what is already out there so 248 is still manageable still playable uh if you do need premium penetration that's 320 alpha also you still get 300 uh 300 damage even though you have 320 penetration uh still very low uh, alpha damage um, but it makes it up with that um, BPM right with that fast firing fast aiming gun um, shell velocity um, 1450 stock shell which gives me an indication that this is going to be uh, stock APCR shells with very high velocity 1450 meters per second is like basically laser shell velocity on your stock shells which means if you can make 248 penetration work this tank will actually make you a lot of credits if it is a premium tank uh, which i suspect it is uh, and you can fire stock shells with 248 penetration and 1450 meters per second um, shell velocity this means uh, a lot of credits into your bank account uh, premium shells 900 meters per second uh, give me an indication that this is going to be heat shells as premium shells uh, so premium gold shells are going to be heat 900 meters per second with um, the 3, uh, 320 alpha uh, 320 penetration um, again the moving dispersion on this gun is really good 0 0.12 which means if you are running um, food BIA and some equipment easily below 0 0.10 dispersion also the um, camouflage value 16.58 this means you can get this to over 33 34 percent camo rating very high camo rating uh, this is going to be a really fun really great tank to play with when it does come out i'm looking forward to this tank even though that you know 300 alpha well you make it work one way or another i hope you enjoyed this video and i will see you on the next one bye bye